not getting through there. Can't back the bike up. Oh, this will be interesting. And leaves. Okay. Oh, don't squash my leg. All right. Haha, <laughs> I made it. What's up guys? This is another episode of Christ Geared. I don't know how well everything's going to look just because, uh, well, it's dark, but um, I don't know. We're seeing. We're going for a night ride, all right? Actually, truth is, well, yeah, I'm going on a night ride to church, but like I said, we'll see how this goes. And in case you guys haven't already seen this channel, well, actually, I can't even like really act like there's much to go off of. I just have three videos. So this is this is a big video. This is my first one that's that's just kind of a blog like i'm just i'm just gonna be writing and i'm kind of just gonna be saying what's on my mind you know oh man not scripted no nothing so in case i hadn't already said before what's going on gearheads i'm trying to get used to that phrase gearhead anyways <clears throat> it's your host john hawes and uh like i like i said it's my first actual vlog ride Hopefully this one won't take that long. I'm, uh, I'm already looking at the numbers. Like, I'm really surprised that the video about me has already got a lot of views. Now, the thing is, last time I looked, um, granted, it's been barely 24 hours. But, um, <laughs> seems like the average amount of time that people watch my videos, no matter the length, uh, is like four minutes. So, um... I'm gonna try to keep this one around like 10 or 15 we'll see we will see it's not gonna be that long but just wanted to stay back and relax on or relax well yeah some of that but reflect on the process of just <laughs> just working and working and working editing and editing and editing and just getting these three videos out there like a couple of them uh just required a couple different takes and so just I was stressed and trying to get these three videos out there, trying to do it all at the same time, trying to figure out so many kinks that I didn't realize came with vlogging, or motor vlogging rather, <clears throat> or just YouTube. Let's just go ahead and say that, just YouTubing. I had to get three videos out there. And within 24 hours, my channel is now, um, my channel is now being able to, you guys can Google it. So I'm pretty excited. I've got like, at the point of, you know, from last time I checked, I've got like nine subscribers. So, you know, big whoop, but, um already like i don't know there's apparently out of the the, the i don't know 50 ish people who watch my stuff apparently there's like one hour two hours or whatever viewing time i don't know if that was for one video combined but um big thing for me because i think i gotta get forty thousand hours to be able to um to be able to monetize so whew. but uh yeah so like I said, I just trying to sit here, relax, take a deep breath, reflect, and just go from there. I'm just hoping I ain't going to freeze tonight, y'all. I mean, the ride out there is going to be interesting. Like I was, you know, I was already doing about 50 on this road. On the freeway, I'll be doing closer to 70, 75, depending on the spot I'm at. But um, like right now, I think it's around 60 degrees and it's not too bad but my worry my worry is here in like three hours by the time i get out of church it's going to get down to like 52. so letting y'all know this southern country boy is still acclimated to um like triple digit heat oh, that's so much fun Ooh, is that another motorcycle friend it is. You're probably not going to see me wave. What's up, bro? 
I've got a lot of other videos that I'm also editing. So. Kind of frustrating because there are times like I recorded stuff. But the thing is, at that point, I only had one camera. And I hadn't really played around with editing. And I didn't really know how it worked and all that stuff. So, like in some videos, I got decent footage. And then I got other ones where it's like crappy footage. But it's good material that I want to I want to give y'all. So, I'm kind of like at a loss. Which sucks, you know. I my my database for stuff to give y'all it's not as big as i thought it was zoom, zoom. Mm. hopefully there ain't no cop watching the strip this part of uh, Davis Boulevard, North Richmond Hills, the, the speed limit here is like 40. And there are cops that watch this strip pretty avidly, especially during the day. So it's just funny. I mean, they'll just sit there and just nail people coming coming all over that hill way back there. So times that, you know, I've been down this street so many times in the morning, I kind of know where their hiding spots are. Granted, it's nighttime, and I'm also riding with a tent advisor, which is kind of stupid. I don't think they're going to be pulling people over at this time. I don't usually see them, but I could be wrong. So better safe than sorry because you know in the end i just don't want to take it i realized too it might be a great idea to close events on my hood helmet i was about to say hood <laughs> got welding on the brain y'all i was talking to a buddy who um i guess i didn't know he picked up welding after i guess he did his stuff in the army we were in ait together this dude was hilarious uh, i don't remember where he's at right now but um but he posted some stuff on his uh snapchat for welding and i was like bro tig welding because i love tig welding in fact i've actually got an episode that i'm right now working on uh editing up and we'll see if you guys take it you know at this point i'm just kind of spitting stuff out to see what uh what you guys like what you guys don't like and you know kind of going from there but we were talking about welding and i was showing him just a handful of things that i did i mean nothing structural nothing obviously to go more just personal projects like you know welding a few holes on the roof of my truck after uh stupidly mounting a light bar up there the light bar was great don't get me wrong but um <laughs> mounting it straight to my roof not a good idea well it didn't leak from any rain because i sealed it off pretty well but once i wanted to move the light bar and put it somewhere else then it's kind of making it so that way i it, i would have open holes straight to the sky so I don't want that so I broke out the welding rig and or welding machine I guess not really a rig that implies it's a truck it's not but anyways broke out the welder filled them all in looks nice in my opinion and then I got to repaint the truck but like I said me and this guy were bonding over that stuff so Ugh, I literally just talked for five minutes about welding this is kind of bad what I do need to do is get my camera out here like pull over somewhere on the freeway and just take some time lapse or uh want to get some long exposure pictures of the freeway and then you got the uh you got the skyline there in the background that just makes some great pictures so the photographer and me is kind of i don't know kind of sitting here thinking and pondering i'm gonna go ahead and scooch over uh oh got a mustang behind me Good thing I'm not part of a crowd. <laughs> I'm kidding, I love y'all Mustangs. I used to have one way back in the day. Ironically, it was totaled. Not by Mustang, but by a Ford Escape. It took on my Mustang, and I think it won. But it was a sad day. October 2018, I lost my Mustang. But Lord willing, I'll have another one in a few years. We'll see. When I've become an, a good enough aspiring YouTuber. It'd be really funny if that's not going to be a thing. I don't know. We're really just trying to just have fun with this. That's kind of what it is. Like, I'm I just... Well, like I said, being stressed with editing and all that stuff. And uh, I just kind of forget to just have fun with this. You know, it's just... It's all about, you know, taking, remember to take a deep breath, thank the Lord above, ride motorcycles, drive trucks, work on stuff, you know, and just, just drive on. Take life, take life as it happens. Dude, something smells like pizza. It delicious, it smells like sausage. Dang it, that makes me hungry. 
I'm probably not going to eat for another 10 hours. Dang it. And there we go, guys. Downtown Fort Worth. I'm scared to look for too long. You know what project I'm really excited for? Ammo can saddlebags. I got stuff that I would love to be able to store in there that I need space for. Whenever I get a little bit more money for my last paycheck for my job, my last job, seasonal job, um, I might try to start getting some stuff done. Get the saddlebag fender, or to me, the uh, uh, ammo can saddlebags mounted, and then I'm going to try to maybe look into putting some LED lighting up here. So, I don't know when that'll happen, y'all, but it's in the future, like I've already said. Stay tuned for that. Might as well also wrap things up. I'm almost at church. Anyway, so what do you guys think as far as a set of high, highway pegs? That's what you call them, right? On a mustache style crush bar. Part of the reason why I'm thinking about this too is uh, for the, actually for the lights I want to mount to it. I want to hang some underneath what is right now my footrest. That's what the word is. I want to mount some lights there, which... I mean, I'll be able to put my feet up there, but it's going to make it a little bit tough. So, I'm just wondering and thinking. Also, I'm going to have to figure out what's going on with those rubber edges. I already had one that came undone. So, I had to, I had to get some super glue mounted, which I'm kind of wondering if that's going to be a pain in the butt. And I don't remember which one it is. Oh my gosh, that was actually a really relaxing ride. <sighs> I needed that. I needed that. Let me go ahead and park this thing, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get with you here in a sec. There we go. Oh, all right. Yeah, parking lot's empty. I uh, hung back after church and was talking with some people, and I definitely did not do a proper outro ending whatever so i'm gonna go ahead and do it here guys i mean first off the, the message tonight i will definitely put links in uh somewhere um again i'm still trying to figure this stuff out but dude it was so so impactful as far as um just just simply de dealing with anxiety as far as you know again getting, getting stuck in ruts of your mind and all this stuff so i'm not going to spoil it for y'all but i want to encourage that you guys go check out the links that i'm going to be attaching somewhere in here and also i'm going to be signing off it's like 50 some degrees out here um again your native texan is not used to this stuff i want to try not to freeze and just take the ride home to just simply relax so i might post a reflection on this stuff i don't know maybe maybe not we'll see regardless i'm going to go ahead and this so you guys remember for those who ride motorcycles keep the rubber side down the shiny side up and remember to uh be firm in your faith stand strong and do everything i love God bless y'all. Good night. I'm getting home. I'm going home. Words. <laughs>